Welcome, Welcome to, to DVTV News. News. In this week's headlines, talent show highlights, ballet floor gordico competition, a couple of shout outs, sports, and much more. The Valley High School Ballet Flocorico competed in, in the Bailes de Mitera competition in Round Rock on Sunday, March 1st, because of weather. Round Rock ISD canceled all events for Friday and Saturday, requiring all performances to compete on Sunday. Nevertheless, the Devil High School Ballet Flocorico went on and won a record of eight trophies. First place solo, Mary Cruz Perez. First place beginner solo, Malcolm Miller. Third place duet, Mary Cruz and Melissa Chavez. First place duet, Mary Cruz and Malcolm. First place trio, Mary Cruz, Melissa and Malcolm. Third place small group, eight dancers. Third place large group, 12 dancers. Third place beginner large group, 12 dancers. Congrats, guys. Miss Shinneberry is Teacher of the Year. She was nominated by Delta High School faculty and staff. Congratulations to Miss Shinneberry. Cora Shinneberry is just first and foremost, just a wonderful person. She cares a whole lot about our students, and uh, again, I think it's a, a great selection. My name is Corey Shinneberry, and I teach family, and con I'm a family consumer science teacher here in the Career Tech Department, and I teach a class called Human Growth and Development, which is a class studying birth to death and everything that happens to us in between, and I also take care of the pregnant teen program for the district. She genuinely cares about the kids at Del Valley. I came here in the fall of 2003. I've taught all over the country, so I was a, what we call, used to call a home economics teacher, and now it's a family consumer science teacher. I started out teaching in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Then I taught in Chicago, and I also taught at McCallum High School for five years before I came to Del Valley. I tell students every day that the point of high school is to find out who you are. So just keep working all the time on being the best you can be and trying to figure out your identity, what you want to be when you leave us. She could go anywhere and teach anywhere she wanted to. Um, she could be um, a career and technology coordinator at the district level, any place that she wanted to, to go and she chooses to stay here and, and teach here at Del Valley because she loves the kids. Her teaching methods are nice and you can learn a lot in her class. Okay. I recommend her class to everybody. Okay. I'm a runner, so I run about three times a week before I come to school. I uh, ride a tandem bicycle and have ridden all over the country, actually in other, all of the United States and in other countries. Oh, wow. Yes. She loves the, the people that she works with, the, the other teachers um, that are her colleagues. Probably bicycling, traveling and bicycling would be what I'd do. To me, that just makes her a, a perfect um, teacher of the year. Graduation. Every year at graduation is the best to watch people that we saw come in here as 14 year olds and leave as 18 year olds and enter the workforce. She's really funny. Do you have you ever talked to her? Name a comedian. Jim Jeffries. Funnier than that. Name another one. Craig Ferguson. Way funnier than that. Who else? Chris Rock. Chris Rock. She is 10 times funnier than Chris Rock. I am telling you. Cora Shinneberry is the funniest person you will ever meet, hands down, and that just makes her an even better Teacher of the Year. I just feel that it's an honor to be a teacher. I think it's probably one of the most overlooked um, professions in the country right now, and I feel really proud to be a teacher. So basically every day is a good day. Uh, just congratulations, and uh, I don't think there's a, a, a more deserving person. It's an honor. I really feel like I'm representing all the teachers in the building, mm -hmm. so I appreciate that it was a vote of the teachers, and so those are my peers, and so I'm proud to represent you. I'm responsible for Mark Bradley, so <laughs> there you go. Donate to the babies. This past Monday, NHS members... Are
received their information for their Pennies for Pasta fundraiser drive to raise money to fight against leukemia and lymphoma to keep those bones strong. Please help out by donating any amount to any NHS member who is carrying a box. Also, NHS is asking for Mr. Williams' help by allowing him to be duct taped to a wall by students who donate a dollar for a strip of duct tape. They hope to stick him to a wall during both lunches on March 27th. Please be part of this. I want to see him duct taped to a wall. Donate. It's a dollar. Come on. He's stuck to a wall. Seniors. Senior shirts are going to be sold in Mr. Gerardo's room in C208 from March 23rd to April 6th. They will be $15 each. A go boy shirt. Boys golf team led by sophomore Matthew Murillo finished second in the Bastrop JV tournament held on Tuesday, March 3rd at Pine Forest Golf Club. The girls team led by sophomore Isabel Ibarra and junior Yuritsa and Cisco won medalist and runner-up medalist for the tournament. Way to go, guys. Now let's go to Able with DVTV Wireless News. This is Able with DVTV Wireless News. This is Able with DVTV Wireless News. So if you haven't heard, Kim Kardashian dyed her hair blonde to see if blondes really have more fun. But less than a week after she made this huge change, she's returning to dye her hair once again to get rid of her dark brown roots. Iggy Azalea has quit her Instagram account for now. She claims she feels attacked by the paparazzi after finding pictures of herself at her home. She claims a home should be a place where you can be free without being worried of cameras, but apparently the paparazzi don't think so. So she is off Instagram for a while. Tom Hanks is apparently in Carly Rae Jepsen's new video called I Really Like You. While lip syncing most of the song, he is shown getting up at 5 a.m. getting ready and heading out to the streets of New York City where he takes selfies with fans and texts. Wait, what? This has been Able with DVTV Wireless News. Now back to studio. Thanks, Abel. Now for a couple of shout outs. Ms. Cor would like to send a, out a big warm cardinal thank you to all of the members of NHS who volunteered this Saturday to help out with the second annual fine arts event. Keep up that NHS cardinal pride. She would also like to send a kudos to her students who have been working hard preparing for the AP exam. Ms. Scott would like to congratulate India Alexander for, uh, for receiving a, a one on her solo for solo and ensemble contest. This means she will advance to the state solo and ensemble competition in May. Good luck, India. Welcome to the DBHS Talent Show. Are you worried about any competition? Not really. It's just, I'm gonna wreck it. Give you all my love is all I ever asked. Get your license and registration, or give it to me now, and then get this up your rear. track team competed at the Hutto Hippo Relays on Saturday, March 7th, and came out victorious. The top finishers were Paige Sexton, Waltanisha Hall, Texandria Wallace, and Anisha Smith. Nice going, girls. Last Saturday, March 7th, was the Dell Valley ISD second annual fine arts event. Students got to showcase their work and progress they made throughout the school year. A big thanks to everyone who came and supported the DVISD fine arts department.
Last week, the Long Center announced nominees for the second annual Greater Austin Music School Theater Awards. And DVHS was nominated for two awards this year. Best Costume Design and Best Supporting Actress for India Alexander. Good job. Also, on Tuesday, March 24th at 7 p.m., the theater department will be having a public performance of their UIL one-act play, The Cover of Life. In the DVHS Auditorium, tickets will be just $5. That's, That's all, all for, for this week. week. Make sure you tune in next week for more. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at DVTV Broadcast News with a Z. Go follow. Never. You have to. You have no choice.